Hello, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. Um, today is the first video in this week's vlog series. It's Monday, December 10th. I am so glad that you're here with me. If you're new, I hope you'll stick around and see if you, you enjoy my videos. And if you're returning, you know how much I appreciate you letting me spend some time with you this week. I have a bit to talk about, so we're just going to jump in. All right. If you remember, I said last week I was working on Tis the Season. Wasn't sure if I was going to get it done in time. I didn't. Don't get excited. Um, but on Saturday, Saturday, I did all my baking. I'm actually going to put in a picture of the chocolate peanut clusters they are my favorite. Um, I have a niece who has a peanut allergy though. So I actually made them, uh, I, I melted the chocolate in a double boiler on my stove and then brought the whole setup into, in here in my hobby room. Um, and I laid out some butcher paper on my table and then I added in the peanuts and, and, and put them all down on, you can see them right here. Uh, I try to keep all my baking separate because of her nut allergy. So um, my room smells amazing. I mean, I've bagged everything up, like triple bag those separately from all the other baked goods, um, just because I want to make sure that I don't kill my niece uh, with her peanut allergy. But uh, my parents love these chocolate peanut clusters. I do too. They're amazing. Um, I made a double batch just so I we could have a big batch here because I just love them. Anyway, I made a bunch of cookies, did all my baking on Saturday, didn't get done till about 7.30. That's my whole point right now. Um, and then at 7.30, I sat down and I stitched till 11 o'clock and I made some progress. And then Sunday, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I don't want to show you this until I tell you. Um, Sunday, I finished up, like I cut up on all my emails, social media responses, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, wrapped gifts. Sunday was really busy. I thought I would be able to sit down by noon and start stitching. I did not get done with all my work until probably 4.30. Sat down, started stitching around 5. Um, Brad actually went out and got dinner. He got dinner both nights because I was just so tired from being in the kitchen and working. I got spoiled two nights in a row. So he went out, got dinner, and then I stitched from five o'clock on Sunday night till probably 11 with a little bit of a break in there for dinner. Um, and so this is the progress. Y'all, I am almost done. I added all of the, the white stars up here or snowflakes, this white here, uh, the letters, all the holly berries. I finished up the leaves, added the snowflakes in here, and I added the word pour. C'est la saison pour très joyeux. Pour très joyeux. I'm not sure. I, I keep listening to Google Translate, but I can't say it. The reason I went with the French is to honor my friend Celine and her, her, um, and Zoe. Bonjour. Um, I've really enjoyed chatting with them, getting to know, um, Celine. And so I thought I am, I'm doing the French version because it reminds me of a friend I've made in France. And without this community, I would not have made friends from across the world. Um, it's amazing to me. Um, I, this whole community just blows my mind. I know I say that so much, but I truly appreciate how much you guys have blessed my life um, and broadened my world. I, without this community, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had these life experiences or made these friendships and it's just amazing. Um, today, got my Navy mom cup, supporting my son as per usual. Um, super sad Navy didn't win the football game. We're not sports people, not a sports person. I know a lot of you college football people are probably horrified to hear that. Um, so, um, sorry about that, but of course you know I had to root for Navy. Go Navy, be Army, but that didn't happen. Okay, so I've shown you the stitching I did. Um, tonight, 
I'm going to have a finish. I'm just going to finish a tray joyeux. My tongue can't, can't do the pronunciations right. I received some gifts. Okay. First off, it's from Ava. Sent me a holiday card. Love it. That's the cutest card. Um, and then she said that she saw this at Hobby Lobby a while ago and it reminded her of me. So she sent it to me. And then I, I kept it in the package, but I shouldn't do that. First off, she sent me a scroll needle minder. Absolutely love the scroll needle minder. Uh, I just, I can't even with how much I love that. And she got me this magnetic tin and it says a lady never discusses the size of her fabric stash. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and it's like based off the old, the simplicity, a vintage simplicity pattern. I could not love this more, Ava. It is so perfect. Look at this wrapping paper. When I open presents, I rip the paper off. I don't save paper. I, I get so much joy out of hearing the paper just rip it right off the package. I am a wrapping paper ripper. I love it. I love the sound. I just love wrapping paper being flung around on Christmas morning. My house is trashed because I just let everybody just like go do it. Open your presents because there's so much joy in just ripping that paper right off. You see how nice and neat I left this? Yes, because I had to show this cardinal right here. Thank you so much, Ava. You have the biggest, most generous heart and I just adore you. Thank you so much. Absolutely loved all of that. Um, I received an adorable card from Donna, the Doodlebug Stitcher. You know what's pathetic? I just realized Donna has floss tube videos. So I'm gonna link her channel below. I'm gonna go watch me some Donna Doodlebug Stitcher floss tube videos. Um, Donna, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know. I don't know why I didn't know. It just, I didn't know. Or I knew and I just didn't let it sink in. I don't know. But anyway, she sent me this hilarious holiday card. Thank you so much, Donna. Um, so all of you go watch Doodlebug Stitcher with me because we, we, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go get caught up with Donna. Um, I interact with Donna on Instagram and Facebook. Um, she's in the Stitcher's Coven and I, I've seen, I've seen her comment there. Um, so Yeah. Donna, you're the greatest, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch you and hang out with you. Um, okay, and then I received another gift, but I don't know if I have permission to share it. So I will. Um, I'm gonna contact that person because it's just an amazing, amazing gift of stitchy kindness. Um, and once I know if it's okay, I will share it here. Um, all right. So I probably shouldn't have even mentioned it. Okay, 10 minutes in. I really thought this video was going to be like a 20 minute video and it may be. I have one more thing to share. Now, I, last year, not last year, the August, July, doesn't matter, of 2017, I ordered an 18 month Erin Condren planner and I used somebody's like referral link so it was like $10 off, excuse me. <clears throat> I went, I stopped using that planner halfway through the year, this year, halfway through 2018, stopped using the planner. The annoying part of that is, um, I really, st I was using the planner to help when I was sewing bags and selling them and keeping track of things. So I, I had actually ordered accessories for this planner and two different sort of, uh, two different other other than what it came with, um, personalized covers. So I thought, okay, I needed a planner again to help keep my time, everything organized since I'm sewing bags again. So I go online and I'm like, these planners are 55 bucks. Did I really spend that much last year? I cannot spend 55 bucks plus shipping because right now their shipping is free over $75. And I'm super annoyed that they don't have like a, what I would call a naked planner. Like if you already have personalized covers, you don't need more for the next planner. So why can't they just sell a planner that doesn't come with the covers? Call it the naked planner, right? That's enticing. I think that's enticing. I'd buy a planner that says naked planner. Uh, why did I go there? We don't need to know that. Uh, but not for $55 because you guys know I'm trying to do so much better with my budget. 
Now, a year and a half ago, I'd have been like, I need the planner that matches my covers I bought. So I would have spent the $55. This year, no. I spent like an hour researching planners that were like the Erin Condren to see if my covers would work on them. Couldn't find anything that was less than 30 bucks. Uh, and actually, I never found one that, that looked like the coils would match up with my Erin Condren covers. So I went to Amazon and I'm like, all right, you know what? We don't, it's just a planner. You just need to jot excuse me, soda. Uh, you seem to jot information in it. So why are we obsessing about this? And why are we remotely thinking of spending over $15 for a planner? That's stupid. If planners are your thing, I'm not saying that that's stupid for you. Uh, that's stupid for me who is trying to do better with my money and purchases. Y'all would be so proud of me. So I'm looking on Amazon. I see this planner and I'm like, Wow, I really like it. I love the artwork on it. And it's really pretty, but it's 18 month calendar. But it was under $10. And I'm like, eh, I can I can use the November because I started making bags in November. I can use the November pages. I can use the December pages. You know what? I'm gonna buy this planner and I'll just rip out the other pages that I that I haven't used because it's a coil bound uh is coil binding. So I can just rip out those pages, right? get it. And I did. So I actually wrote a note on this. When I bought it on Friday, I think it was $9.42. Prime shipping. So with tax, it cost me like $10.16 for this planner. They actually dropped it off at my house on a Sunday. Why are these people making the post office work on Sundays? Who needs a planner on a Sunday? Anyway, on Sunday, when I checked to see how much the planner was, it had gone up uh, 25 cents. It was not, is that right? Math is not my thing. $9 and 67 cents. I think that's right. But I, and I know this is a stitching channel, but I am going to actually show you a flip through of the pages that I love in this planner because like, can you see how excited I am? I'm so excited. Okay. It is a Katie Daisy planner and her artwork, like I'd seen it before and was like, oh, that's pretty. It's gorgeous. Her artwork is gorgeous. I have the happiest planner in the world. I almost did the Chevy Chase. Hap, hap, happiest planner um, in the whole wide world, I think. I love it. Okay, it's a six by nine size. It's actually a 17 month planner. Is it six by nine? If you don't count the coils, it's seven by five. Seven by five and a half if you do. This is it. How could I not get this? Beauty, magic, wonder. Yeah, shall we flip through? You guys, it's gonna rock your socks. <laughs> I had to edit that because I just showed everyone on the internet my phone number. Okay, so this planner belongs to Christine Butterfly. Hello. Okay, gorgeous. All right, now I'm gonna show you the first few pages just to show you what's in this. 2018, 2019 at a glance. I'm not gonna take forever to do this, guys, promise. Um, then holidays and a notes page. The artwork is so happy. I smile. Started with August, my birthday month, butterfly. So cute. You knew I loved it. The minute I saw the butterflies, right? Okay. So now the layouts, it gives you the month layout and then it gives you weeks. Some weeks, you know, that, that starts on, you know, way over here. So they'll do an art page or whatever. There's quotes throughout. We're going to look at it all. I'm just showing you the first month so you know what to expect. More August butterfly. Now some of these pages I am actually going to cut out, but I want to frame them or just like stick the pages up somewhere because they make me so happy. So these are the week layouts. And then you get to the end. Grateful for. Hello. Hello, can we not get to the end of the month and think about all the things we are grateful for? What a wonderful prompt. And this right here says, and all at once, summer collapse into fall. It doesn't attribute the coat, but I absolutely love that. This, you can just cut off, frame it, put it on a card, and then it gives you the next month. Okay, so I clipped everything because I wanted to show you the the colorful pages so we're all done with every little thing I'm gonna do a quick fl flip through I am brave oh my gosh 
just the inspirational stuff. Okay, I am going to be showing you some of October because October is my favorite. Just breathe. We definitely need that reminder throughout, right? Uh, was this? Okay. The October layout is just super fun. Just, I love the dark. I love the snake. I don't know if there was anything else. The weekly stuff is lighter so you can, you know, <laughs> see when you write. There's always just little butterflies, flowers. I think that's all I wanted to show you in October. Oh, this one. Believe in magic. Yes. Yes. This is a, just another art layout. If you don't like snakes, I'm sorry. Um, and then the next one, we go into November. Little cabin. Okay, this is the beginning of December. It is in the shelter of each other that people live. And that's an Irish proverb. And then, because this was end of November, I wrote what I gave thanks for. I know it was past November, but I wanted to do it anyway. Okay, and then I'm in December, and you guys don't need to see all my notes for December. Um, end of December, just breathe. How many times are we going to need that reminder? Okay, uh, beginning of the new year, write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. Ralph Waldo Emerson. How cheerful, right? This whole thing just makes me happy. Here's another layout. And then write whatever you want. I think that's the beginning of February. You guys. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Just breathe. I don't even know what months these are in now. I just tabbed them because I just wanted to show you the artwork. This bat, this is May. I remember because I looked and I was like, this is kind of early in the year, but I love bats. So that's perfect for me. Bats, butterflies. You shall see wonders. William Shakespeare. What a happy planner, y'all. I just love it. Breathe in the beauty of today. How amazing is this, right? Like not even is it a planner. Just I, I love it. I love it. It inspires me and it's not even January. Okay, I dwell in possibility. Emily Dickinson. How beauty is beautiful is that butterfly, the death head moth. I can't even. I mean, it's not not the colors, not the yellow, but it's just so beautiful, right? This is just a little planner for less than ten bucks. What does this one say? I must have flowers always, always. Monet. I'm just so happy. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. Mother Teresa. How beautiful, right? I, it's only because it's so pretty am I sharing this with you. I uh, see, and now I'm at 20 minutes. I am grateful. Almost done, y'all. And then just September, more flowers, pretty pansies. There is a magic about you that is all your own. D.M. Dillinger. Gotta say, I don't know who that is. And if I should be ashamed of, that I don't know, please forgive me. We can never have enough nature. Henry David Thoreau. How beautiful, right? Her artwork is just so pretty. This one I love. Shine like the whole universe is yours. Rumi. Yes! How exciting! Let your heart be your compass. I just, I just can't even, I love it. Now, I said this to my husband and started crying because I, it's just, it is. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. E.E. E. Cummings. Ugh. And then goals for the year. Um... Love is the strongest force the world possesses, and yet it is the humblest imaginable. Mahatma Gandhi. And constant reminders to be grateful. Love for all. I love this one. This reminds me of, um, 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 um.
Felicity. Oh, I love it. Reminds me of Felicity Hall and her alphabets. She's got this one, Circus Alphabet. I don't know if they actually will show, no, just circus letters. Um, it's all, oh, here we go. Right? Love for all. Love that. Okay. And then at the end, special occasions. They go by months. Um, 2020 at a glance and then the end. Uh, the end page is gives attributions. So that's my planner. Thank you for indulging me and in showing that to you. It just was so beautiful and so inspiring. And I just, I just wanted to share that. Um, I love beautiful things, but I particularly love things that remind you to be grateful and thankful and appreciate the world around you um, and your life. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, like I said, thanks for indulging me in my little planner thing. Um, I'm not going to be sharing planner layouts or anything. Don't worry. Um, I love to see them on Instagram, but I, I won't be doing that here. Uh, so that's it for today. Tomorrow, I hope to be showing you a finish. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, everyone. Today is Tuesday, December 11th, and I have some things to show you. First, I have to address some uh, two things from yesterday. I forgot to tell you why Ava, uh, Truly Wicked Crafts, sent me my squirrel needle minder. Remember from yesterday? Oops. Okay. So some of you may or may not remember that I love squirrels that have the little evil ears. Um, Amy Loves Toad stitched me a squirrel pillow. It's, it's been hanging up here, but I took it down. Sorry, Amy. Sorry for Christmas, but it's coming back up as soon as these Christmas decorations are down. I showed it in, I think last week's video because on the back she, I've showed it several times. Anyway, the stitch squirrels, they, they, some of them, just their ears look evil and I love them. Love them. I also had a squirrel in last week's, last week's, last month's, um, decor. I bought this squirrel with the big, big, huge acorn. Um, I also called one of the pine cones an acorn in last week's video, but we're not going to go there. I just went there, but we're not going to go there any longer. So anyway, she, she drew me a picture of an evil squirrel. I love him in front. I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to let you read it because I laughed so hard, so hard. I had tears when I saw this and then I set the envelope aside and it got lost in my piles. And so I didn't show you. Even the evil squirrels get into the holiday fun and roast their nuts. I'm big on double entendres. Big. Love them. And I know Ava meant that as a double entendre. I'm dying. Dying. I should have worn my husband's uh, squirrel shirt. Uh, maybe I will tomorrow if I can steal it out of his closet. My husband has lots of funny t-shirts. I think we've talked about this before, but yeah, if I remember tomorrow, Ava, I'm going to wear his squirrel t-shirt. Okay. The second thing, uh, yesterday, you know, I shared my planner cause I spent like a good seven, 10, 25 minutes talking about it. Okay. I did what I said. I cut out my favorite pages, squared them up, but my very favorite page was the believe in magic page. Okay, so what I decided to do is on the, the very first page is the, this book is mine and my phone number. Uh, and then remember the calendar pages and then the notes page. Well, in, uh, before I made this change, on the back side of this notes page was the, the left side of the August calendar. Well, instead I just glued the Believe in Magic page there. And I know it looks a little funky, but I don't think it looks bad because this page was actually facing this way. So the corners are here on the inside, but I just paste, I just glued it down. 
um, and trim the corners. And I love it. I love it now. So all of the, the, and I left November cause I needed some notes in November. So yeah, I did that. I was really, I was really pleased with how I was able to take the 17 month. I think I said it was an 18 month, but it's a 17 month planner and then just adjust it to where I have the months that I needed since I was late ordering it. Okay. Last night I have my finish. I did it. I was so tired. I didn't want to stitch, but I was like, girl, you got two words to, to stitch. That's it. Just sit here and do it. And so I did. My husband put on, um, U571. Love that movie. You think I wouldn't because my son, uh, volunteering for sub duty, but it's World War II. And I really, really, really love that movie. And hello, Matthew McConaughey. Um, yes, I love Matthew McConaughey. Uh, yeah, this turned out so amazing y'all. I'm so happy with it. I'm happy that I doubled up the white strands and how do you like Bill and Bob up there? They agree with me this way. Yes. Uh, I doubled up the white strands. <laughs> I have too much fun with Bill and Bob. And um, it looks fantastic. I love the words in red. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with this. I really hope that I can end up finishing this sometime soon. I have a busy week or two ahead of me. Um, I have some donation sewing. I mentioned that yesterday. And gift sewing I want to get done. And I don't know that they're going to make it out to their peoples in time. But... Fingers are crossed because I still need to make bags to sell in the meantime so I can do the other sewing. Okay, so after I was done with that, I was now in the stitchy mood so to keep on stitching. So my husband put on the last hour and a half of Interstellar. We love that movie too. Um, and I got to work on Things Unseen. So where I left off on this, I had made mistakes. Uh, sorry, let me move over. Um, my spacing was wrong on the top and on this line, like I messed up up here and then it messed everything up because I was, I, I didn't, I didn't count the rows. I didn't count all these stitches. I just went by, Oh, the chart says it ends right under this, this motif. That's where the stitching ends. And so I did it, but I was wrong in my spacing. So the lines ended up being too big. So what I had to do is I had to take one stitch off of this row, which I had done before. I, ha I took out the T before. I'm telling you what I had done before to show you where I started last night. So there was no T. I'd taken off one stitch off this row, took off this motif, the L and the U. So last night, what I, what I did is I put the U, the L, and this motif exactly where they were supposed to be, um, added the T. I had to rip out this flower because I had stitched it wrong. I didn't look at the instructions, so I ripped it out and then I added in all of the pink and white flowers. So I got quite a bit of stitching done last night. Super pleased with this. So tonight I'm just gonna put the border here for this row and then start the next one. Um, I think, okay, for uh, today and tomorrow, I'm going to be working on things unseen. I am going to have a new start on Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if I'll be recording on Wednesday. Uh, I like to try to record a little bit every day, but sometimes I just get busy. On Wednesday, Sarah of Stitchology. Uh, hi, Sarah. She and I are going to be having a stitch along for the All Souls pattern. It's in the wrong spot. was not in alphabetical order. Okay, so this is the All Souls pattern. All Souls Veer Landon by Ben, uh, ben Drew of Quilts by Design. A mini, uh, a mini in stitches? No. All cross stitches? I'll put her channel name up. I can see the X's, but I don't know why uh, the rest isn't coming to me. Anyway, Minnie is working on her All Souls. Uh, the first person I saw work on All Souls was Elena B., my lovely Elena B., with those bouncy curls and that big red smile, her amazing lipstick. I love me some Elena B. Uh, anyway, 
those are the first two people I saw working on this Veerlanden design. All Souls Veerlanden. There you go. So I'm going to start working on this. Uh, however, I'm not going to be adding the alphabet at the top. I'm not a huge fan of alphabets. Um, I like them in some designs, depending on the font, the letters. I don't really want to put them in here because they're all interspersed throughout the chart. However, I posed this question way earlier in the year. I am not going to put the entire alphabet throughout the chart. I'm just going to write my name throughout the chart. So, yeah. Um, those are the letters I'm going to be putting in throughout. See if I can get to focus again. See if you can see what I mean. See if I could get it closer. Focus. My magic words aren't working this time. Anyway, uh, this is a PDF chart. I will link it below. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my dark 13 start. So I'll be working on these, um, I'm sorry, dark October 13. Um, this is the chart I'm going to be working every 13th of every month uh, throughout this year, uh, coming year. So I'm going to start December 13th though, um, and I'm going to be using these fabrics. This is XJU Design Ash Rose, and I'm going to be, it's a 40 count, and I'm going to be using Nancy's um, Into the Darkness Floss with it and I think I think it's gonna just really turn out amazing I think anyway um so yeah I'm gonna have a new start this week okay so that's it for today I will check in with you tomorrow talk to you then bye hello today is Wednesday December 12th um and I'm just gonna get right into it I'm making a habit of doing that okay yesterday when I ended off the video I had just finished telling you that I was getting ready ready to have a start tomorrow um, on dark October 13 uh, of All Souls. And I had an inspirational moment like 10 minutes after I was done recording. I think I said yesterday I wasn't gonna do the alphabet up here, but I was going to stitch just my name within the alphabet letters here. If I didn't say that, that was my original plan. I can't remember what I said yesterday. Um, and I think I said I wasn't going to stitch the border. And I'm still not going to stitch the border. But I've changed my plan. I am going to stitch the alphabet within within this. Just as it's charted, you can't really see it well. You probably have to see the pattern elsewhere. There you can. And instead of the... Um, ignore my writing up here. Instead of this alphabet up here, I'm going to take this skull and crossbones right here and put it on this side and this side. And in between them, I'm gonna stitch my last name, Slaughter. Cause that is highly appropriate for this piece. Um, yeah, I like my last name a lot. So taking off the, the top row, I'm just taking off the alphabet, skull and crossbones, Slaughter, and then all this. And I, tell, I told Sarah, I sent her video messages because I didn't want to type all that out in a message on my phone. And she liked the idea, so she might be doing that too with her last name. Uh, I don't know if she's going to do it for sure, but she liked the idea. Uh, so yeah, that's my new plan for All Souls. Um, and I'm super excited about that. I got some Christmas cards yesterday. I love, love this octopus with the Santa hat. And the Santa hat's glittery. And I know it is not focusing. Anyway, this was from Diana. It is Kismet Stitches. Thank you so much, Diana. I love this. I love the card. I love the sentiment. Super love the Santa octopus. Or just the octopus with the Santa hat. Um, and then I got a really sweet card from Amy of my my very sweet love her to death, Amy DeVille. Um Okay, I did receive permission to share the um, Stitchy Kindness gift I received in the mail the other day. I was blown away when I got this. This is from Patience, um, and she comments on her videos. Um, well, I know she's on Instagram as Stitching304, and I think on our videos as Stitching304 too. Patience is amazing. She just 
Oh, she's almost finished with, um, uh, I want to say it's Little House, but maybe it's Country Cottage, um, the Freedom Houses. Oh, I just saw that today. I've never seen that pattern before she posted that today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. She sent me a quilt pattern kit. Now, there's two blocks per pattern, all these patterns. Um, Pine Tree Lodge and My Front Porch. Super cute. Lucky's Farm and the windmill. I thought of Gerald the moment I saw that windmill. Quilter's Cabin and the Little Red Schoolhouse. Look at that flag. I just die. I love it. Mountain Chalet and Chapel in the Woods. Now this reminds me of the church that I went to as, um, well, for a lot of my life before I um, moved away and, and lots of life stuff happened. Anyway, uh, steeple and everything. Love that. Um, cozy Cottage and Patchwork Place. And then the last one is how to put it all together. How cute. Welcome home quilt. I love this little town. It's just adorable. I may use different fabric colors, um, but I, I really, really love this. So patience, thank you so much for this quilt pattern set. I love it. And I really appreciate that you thought of me um, and sent that to me. Not only that, she sent me some patterns. Really love these patterns. I've never seen these before. And these are right up my alley. As far as the Christmas patterns, I seem to be drawn to lately. So from Sunflower Seed, it's sleigh bells ring are you listening so just sleigh bells ring and i think this pattern is like from 2009 but look at that sleigh i just love it those little trees so cute and then there's a set from um i've never um heard of this pattern designer x appeal um the mrs claus i don't know if I, that's gonna there you go the stockings are hung, the stars shine bright, and our hearts head home on this magical night. And on this is um, backstitched right there. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, and then I, this one was uh, the Mrs. Claus is the pattern name, and this one is um, Christmas Cheer. And that one's in Santa, and it says... Christmas cheer and love abound when friends and family gather round. Just love that. Now, I immediately, when I saw these, I'm like, yes, I want to stitch both of them. And I'm going to make Vana flat folds. And one's going to have like um, a green print behind it. And the other one like a red Christmas print. I already have plans. So patience, thank you so much. You always leave the most encouraging, the kindest comments. I really appreciate just your comments and your generosity above and beyond with sending me these patterns. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate them and I appreciate you and that you thought of me to send me that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so next, I have to address something. I posted my Tis the Season finish on Instagram. I've been really bad about posting on Instagram lately, y'all. I'm just busy. I'm not really on there very much. I get on there to try to remember to answer questions or send people messages, but then I've, I, I've just been bad Instagrammer lately. Okay, so I posted this finish there, and only one person called me on this. Only one. Uh, <laughs> I've been calling all these snowflakes, right? All of them. And, and one person, I don't know who, I can't remember who it was, um, said, oh, I thought those were poinsettias. Y'all have been calling these, these snowflakes, but she's right. <laughs> Pretty darn sure she's right. Uh, because when I stitched, um, I've stitched a couple poinsettia things on other patterns. This is the shape. It, I mean, there are snowflakes on here. But I'm so used to stitching all these snowflakes and stuff lately. I just, everything that's white, if it's white, um, on, on a background, I'm calling it a slow, snowflake. But yeah. So I've been saying that wrong the whole time. All these videos and everything. Y'all are so nice. Not one of you were like, um, hey, I think you're saying that wrong. Okay. Moving on. All these video segments this week are super long. 
Sorry about that. Lots to chit chat about. Last night, I continued working on Things Unseen. Um, I finished, I added this line here and then the words here be seen or even and then just this line of stitching now right here is a big motif and then um i can't remember the word i can't remember what's here uh and i'm not the best most beautiful cannot be seen or even is it heard i can't remember anyway uh so i i don't know if i'm going to start the motif or work on the word and and finish the word and the line tonight, uh, probably. I'll probably do that, the word, and then start working on the motif. And then I can just scroll and um, work on the other, the flower pot down here and the bird in the house. We'll see how far I got tomorrow. So that's it for today. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, today is Saturday, December 15th. Um, I did not record the last two days, it's just it's the holiday season and I just ran out of time. Uh, by the way, this cup of cheer, which I bought at the 99 cent store, uh, is my cup for the month. And it is also filled with some Abuelita hot Mexican chocolate that I bought also from the dollar store. And it is amazing. I've had some technical difficulties this morning. I already started recording this video. My computer froze up. So now my hot chocolate's like half gone which is good for you because then you won't see me drink it all video. Maybe. It's just amazing. It's like 12.40 in the afternoon and I'm mowing down on this hot chocolate. I love it. Um, I'm all seasonal today. I had to go out to the Dollar Tree today to buy some stuff. And uh, when I go out during shopping during the holiday season, I have to force myself into the holiday spirit. Um, cause I've worked on the other side of, of the counter during the holiday season. I hope you all are being very, very kind to the retail workers out there. Cause I'm telling you as a stressed and rushed and everything as you are, they're feeling it too, but they're at work. So they can't go take care of stuff. Um, they're just as grumpy and stuff too, because I'm telling you, I have been on the other side of the counter and everybody coming through being grumpy and rude, it really brings you down and you end up being really brought down by the end of the day. So I really make it a point, especially during any sort of holidays or busy time for retail workers to greet them. That was one of my biggest pet peeves as a retail worker is when you'd say, hi, how are you doing? because you have to be cheerful, upbeat, and they just ignore you, like you're not even there. Uh, so I hope you all are greeting them, leaving them with a happy holidays or Merry Christmas or whatever it is, or just simply, I hope you, a uh, sincere, I hope you have a great day. Because one phrase like that can really turn someone's day around. And I know I just went off on a ramp, but it's hard this time of year for us who, who aren't working retail and for the people working retail as well. So just FYI. Okay, uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't get to record the last couple days because it's my video is going to be long already. Every segment has been long. I've had a lot to talk about. Um, same thing today. Okay, right before I recorded this video the first time, excuse me, I got the mail and I received some wonderful Christmas cards today. So a big thanks to Cindy of Love Music Eshow for her wonderful Christmas card. She's doing some traveling right now. So Cindy, I hope your travels are going really well for you and you're enjoying the season. Um, I received the greatest card from Amy. Look at that forest scene. Oh, how cute is that? And she even included a skein of what she calls, let's see, I wanna make sure I said it right, toad green, right? Yep, toad green. And for her, toad green is 3362. I'd agree with that. I love this green though. That's beautiful. I say though like it was a bad, no. I love this green. Thank you very much, Amy. Me and my words. Now I opened up the next card. Got this beautiful card from Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. And I started busting up laughing. First, before I even get to that, I got to show you, she sealed it with Harry Potter wax seal. I about died. Absolutely love it. Love that, Audrey. I love Harry Potter too. 
a lot. I mean, I watch the movies on repeat all the time. Uh, I just don't talk about that much, but huge Harry Potter fan. Okay, so I opened this card. Now, if you've watched Audrey's videos, you will know why I started laughing. Inside the card is a tissue, and she says, sharing the tissues. Hashtag Audrey is a bully, huh, Vicky? Vicky of Stitch and Button. You have to go watch Audrey's video. I, I about died laughing. So funny. And uh, yeah, you really have to go see it. And then she sent me a skein of 580. Love that. Thank you so much for the card, Audrey, and for the laugh. Sorry, Vicky. I had to laugh. <laughs> I had to laugh. Okay, and then I received a wonderful card from Angela. Um, Angela Gibson. Greetings from Texas. Love that. Um, and she wrote a really nice sentiment um, in there. Uh, she said she's praying for Josh always. Um, I had someone ask me, uh, and maybe, I don't think it was Angela. She just mentioned Josh. Someone asked me somewhere along the way if Josh was coming home for the holidays. Uh, he is not coming to us for the holidays. Uh, he, he was going to, he's got two weeks leave. A week and a half. Yeah, two weeks. Uh, and he was going to try to split it. He was going to fly from South Carolina to Fresno to go visit with his dad. And then halfway through, fly from Fresno to Vegas for us to pick him up and spend the rest of it with, with us. Now, he's he's feeling pretty flush. Um, he, he was a good saver before he left. He's a great saver now, so he can afford this flight. But it was going to be pretty outrageous, all of those flights. South Carolina to Fresno, Fresno to Vegas. And then Vegas back to South Carolina. So we encouraged him since his sister was staying the entire Christmas vacation with his dad for him to stay there too. Uh, Josh did not feel right about that. And he, it's just his heart. He has the sweetest heart. He just said, mom, I just don't feel right about not seeing you over the holidays. And we told him we, we understand, but we know how difficult travel is over the holiday season. Please stay there because he graduates from A school. He is third in his class. He is doing very, very well. He graduates from A school like a week after he returns from his holiday break. And so we told him, instead of you flying all over and having to pay all that extra money, let us fly to you for your graduation. And then after, sorry for the rubbing my nose, after his graduation, he gets the whole weekend off where he can go off base. And I said, and then why don't we all just spend the weekend together there in South Carolina? So he got really excited by that because no one was really planning on going to his graduation for A school. He's got three graduations coming up, A school, power school, and prototype. Um, and no one was really planning on A school, but for him, that got to be pretty exciting. And so he said, okay, I'll stay with dad for the holidays and then and then you guys can come and then we'll have our own little celebration with him then. So to answer, that was a long answer to is Josh coming home for the holidays? Yes and no. Yes, he's going to his dad's for the holidays. No, he's not coming here, but we'll see him like a week or two later. So we're really excited about that. Uh, speaking of Josh still, Colette, our very own Colette Kingsley, set a, sent a really sweet card. Look at that bear, that polar bear. Oh, itchy nose today. Now, Colette wrote a note in here, and I'm going to read a little bit of it because I have to explain why, Colette, I am only showing the card. It says, this little light needle minder reminds me of you and your videos. You are lighting up the stitchy world. A stitching world. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much, Colette. That means so much. You guys are really the ones who light up my world. Um, it's not the other way around. But this needle minder she's talking about is not in this envelope. But there's a big hole in that envelope, right? She even spent the money on two stamps to send me this needle minder that I don't have. I'm super sad. I bet what happened is... The magnet got stuck on the postal equipment somewhere and someone just took this envelope and ripped it off. And so now someone's postal equipment has a beautiful light needle minder and it's lighting up their world. So it's not with me. It's with the post office and nobody knows where it goes. Someone just got a really awesome needle minder. 
I'm sad. So, I mean, I'm not real. I, I'm sad that the, the gift that you sent didn't make it, but I do hope that if it, if it went somewhere else that it was meant to be and it lit up somebody else's world. So Colette, thank you so much for thinking of me like and wanting to send a gift and I'm super sorry it didn't make it. I'll be messaging you so this will be old news to you in a minute. Okay, so that's cards. I did receive a gift from Spoonerooney Stitcher. I'm only going to show part of it because I'm saving the other part. That's just for me. And I hope you guys don't get irritated. But you know, sometimes the gifts are, they just don't have to be shared with everyone. I'm sure some of you know what that means. Okay, she made me this amazing poinsettia ornament. Now here's the funny thing. When I first started talking about the poinsettia ornament I needed to send Jen, uh, I was looking for a, a poinsettia for her. And she heard me talking about it and she and a couple other people said, hey, Prairie Schooler has a free pattern. But when I went to go find it, it wasn't available any longer. Remember that little owl, the hoo-hoo owl is on the, the free page now. So I messaged her and I said, thank you. Uh, it's not there anymore. Well, she had the pattern, so she stitched this for me. Not knowing that I was trying to find the poinsettia ornament to stitch for her. Uh, and there's a reason uh, for why the poinsettia ornament specifically for her. Uh, and I'll, I'll go into that maybe story another time. Um, but anyway, so when I made that ornament and sent it off, I was like, man, I really kind of like that ornament. I should probably make myself a poinsettia ornament just so like Jen has one and I have one. And then I got this in the mail. Like it could not have been more perfect. And look at the finishing on this. Look at this fabric on the back. Look at that plaid. Oops, see I'm doing it again. And she stitched her initials and the date. The It just, it's all so awesome. Her finishing couldn't be more perfect. I just love it. Um, And she did also send in the package a piece of 16 count Ada in murky. It's not part of the Christmas present. She made that clear. But I had mentioned a while ago that I... I don't stitch on Ada, but I'd heard picture this plus Ada is really nice and soft. And I'd probably want to try a smaller count Ada for, you know, just to see and especially picture this plus. And so she sent me, a, she told me a while ago she would send me a piece. And then so she put it in the package and just said, this isn't a Christmas gift. This is just me sending it finally. So thank you so much. I love this color, this fabric. It's just amazing. I, I know there's going to be some Halloween piece that goes on this fabric. Also, her card. Do you think we could switch for a little while? Joseph to Mary. And Mary, you did not just ask me that. I died laughing. I couldn't stop. I showed Brad. Because I say stuff like that all the time. You did not just ask me that. I... I yeah, tone everything. It just was so perfect. So Jen, thank you so much for my ornament. I love it. I actually told my daughter about it this morning and she went over the tree and hunted all over the tree for the ornament. She's like, where is it? I said, it's in my room because I haven't showed it on floss tube yet. So I can't put it on the tree. So she'll be excited that I did that. Okay, I bought two things. One was a big old pack, thousand pack from Amazon of some stainless steel lace pens for me to do some finishing. Um, the reviews on these were a little like they bend easy. Well, the last lace pins I had bent easy too. Um, I just have to be careful. So these were cheaper uh, than getting the last box of lace pins that I did. So I'm gonna try them out. I'll link them below, but I'll review. I'll, I'll let you know later if they're good or not. Now, the big, the one purchase, I purchased a pattern. Let me explain. For the longest time, I have wanted Casey Buonagario's, Buonagario's Witch's Pie. It's out of print. You can't get it anywhere. Uh, she posted on Facebook a couple days ago that she'd been getting a lot of emails from people asking if she was going to put out her patterns again. So for a limited time, she said if you sent her an email saying which pattern you want, and she put an image with like 15, 20 of her patterns, um, she said, if you send her an email and then send her a PayPal for the amount, like each pattern was $8. So if you got 10 patterns, then you sent her 80 bucks. I 
y'all would be so proud of me. I looked at all those pictures and I was like, oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. And then I said, are you really going to stitch them? And the answer was yes to only one. And it was the witch's pie. So I only ordered the witch's pie. And so she sent, she didn't send them PDFs. I was a little mm, about that because I prefer PDFs because uh, when you um, blow them up, um, in, enlarge them, they stay, uh, they don't get too fuzzy. Uh, but her, she sent them as JPEGs and the quality was amazing. I printed them out, zero problems. So I, plus you're going to look a gift horse in the mouth, Christine, really shut up, be happy for the JPEG. So I legit have a witch's pie pattern. I talked to my husband, told him all of my, my, because full disclosure with him, I bought a pattern. This is why. And he agreed. If it's out of print and it's been made available recently for eight bucks, you cannot pass that up if that's been on your wish list uh, for a long time. And it has. So super happy about this. I will link her post below. She said she was only doing this for a limited time and wished us all a Merry Christmas. So if there is a Casey Bonagario, Bonagario pattern you've wanted, and that it's, she's still doing it. You're going to want to jump on that train pretty quick. I don't. Okay. My computer just died on me. It must not have been charging correctly. Anyway. Uh, so I was talking about Casey's pattern and, um, I wanted to say that, you know, enabling is not something I'm, I'm wanting to do lately, but if you, if you've been wanting an out of print pattern, one of Casey's patterns, uh, you can get it for $8 right now. So I will link that below. As a matter of fact, I'll make it the top link. Um, and if she if she's still doing it, you'll be able to see on that post on her Facebook page. The post is on her Facebook page, gives the instructions. I would highly check, recommend that you check the link before just emailing or whatever and see if she's, if she's still honoring this. Um, but yeah, my only cross stitch chart purchase. Um, by the way, speaking of, take, take that card down for just a moment. Um, Ava helped me name my ornament that I got from the amazing Melanie Smith. Um, Ava came up with two names. She said Frank or Charles, and immediately I went Frank. He's Frank. So my ornament is Frank. Okay, so what did I stitch on? Uh, in the last couple days on we Wednesday night, thir yes, Wednesday night, I worked a little bit more on my Things Unseen by Lizzie Kate. I don't think that's going to focus in. Um, I had stitched before the last time I showed you this one. And then on Wednesday night, I added the word touched. Remember, I was like, I can't remember. Is it heard? No, it's touched. Should know this quote. Um touched and then I added in these two flowers flowers and they're gray so I can call them flowers and not snowflakes I'm still chuckling that I kept calling all those those flowers on that chart snowflakes and all of you are so nice you're probably like yeah those are snowflakes have fun with your snowflakes <laughs> okay now I mentioned in the last video I was going to start all souls and that the top here I was just going to write or er, write. It's going to stitch slaughter right here and a skull and crossbone on each end. This skull and crossbones here and here and then slaughter centered in between. Now, I got super excited because I was working on this on dark dark 13 stitching uh, on Thursday night. And I'm stitching away, man. I'm getting it done. Oh, before I forget, I have to tell y'all, I'm stitching on 40 count. I'm having a blast. I love it. I'm like stitching super fast. And I got into this, this, I don't know, this rhythm or whatever. And I was just stitching away. And I show my husband at the end. Um, it's like 1130 at night. And I tell him, look, I only have one letter left. And I showed it to him, super excited. Only one letter left, I'm gonna show you. Do you see it? Looks great, right? He looks at it and he starts chuckling. 
And I look back at it and he goes, well, I know the name is new to you because my last name is Slaughter. And I misspelled it. I forgot the H. Right here where the T is should be the H. And he, we're both cracking up at this point. Normally I'd be irritated because I hate ripping. <laughs> but I started cracking up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally messed up. So I have to rip these two letters out. Uh, put in the H and finish. H-T-E-R. So, um, yeah, I thought I was doing great. I thought that all I was going to have to do was add the R and the other skull and crossbones. And I kept thinking, man, you really miscounted. This is not going to be right. And then I was just like, I don't even care. I do not care. I'll put in another motif. If it's not centered, I'll make it work, but I'm not ripping out all these letters. And then life was like, oh, you're ripping out some lady. Yes, you are. Uh, so anyway, I'm not even mad about it um, because these gothic letters just rock my world. Absolutely, I absolutely love it. Now, it probably looks like the A is like out here spaced out, but I made sure there was always two stitches in between each letter. So it may look odd, but there is two stitches spaced between each letter. I probably should fix that, but I'm not going to. Um, I was only going to work on this on the 13th of every month but i'd really like before next dark dark 13 stitching to have the name done so i can start on the motifs and since that's just one more night of stitching i'm going to rip this out today and then finish the name in the skull and crossbones and then put it put it away till next month um instead of waiting till next month and, and fixing it i just i want to have that top done and then I don't, I'm ready to go next month. I didn't stitch at all last night, Friday night. I was just exhausted and I hadn't recorded. So I didn't want to start stitching on either one of these because I wanted to share my progress first. So yeah, um, things rock in my world this week, uh, besides these Gothic letters and all my amazing Christmas cards and this ornament. I mean, all these things are rocking my world. But besides that, I went to the Dollar Tree today. I told you that. That's why I'm dressed up. And I found my Butter Rum Lifesavers. I look for these all the time. I told my husband two years ago that the one thing I would always look forward to on Christmas Day is my dad would give us a Lifesaver book. You know, you guys know, maybe I'm dating myself, 80s child, but you'd open up the Lifesaver book and there'd be all the different Lifesavers in there. Wintergreen, you'd have the, the fruit flavored ones, regular flavored ones, and you'd have butter rum. And it would look like this. Mm -hmm. The butter rum were my favorite. So I mentioned that to Brad a couple months ago, a couple months, a couple years ago. And for one Christmas, he went and he bought me two of these tins and they were, they were filled with, um, they were filled with the book of lifesavers. Yeah. All the lifesavers that would be in the book were in this. And he and I were both a little disappointed because we were hoping it was only filled with butter rum, but there were two butter rums in there and he bought me two containers. So I have two of these metal containers and they've been empty and I've been saving them because I have butter rum candies I want to put in these things and I found I found them I know that you can buy them on Amazon or whatever but I'm not gonna pay like five bucks for some butter rum candy I mean I love them but I don't love them that much so anyway that was rocking my world that I walked by and I was like those are mine thank you very much so now I know to go to the Dollar Tree I don't know if it, it was actually in the seasonal section, so I'm hoping I can find it year round because I'm going to fill up my little butter rum thing. But anyway, that's what's rocking my world this week. Okay, long video, probably longest in a while. I don't know. I apologize. I've really, you guys have really been trying to keep them between like 36 minutes to 45 minutes and no longer, but I, I jabbered this week and I was really considering taking out the planner section, but I love, I love my planner so much. And I really want to share that for any of you who like planners too. Heck, I buy it just for the artwork in it because, um, the Katie Daisy artwork just 
rocks my world. That rocks my world too. There's so much this week that's just rocking my world. I forgot to um, do the giveaway uh, for, uh, in the last video I said if anybody wanted to have this pattern and the flosses that came in this kit, um, I would I would send it to them because I found this at, at Goodwill, uh, but was keeping the linen. It changed my mind. I felt really bad about keeping the linen for this kit and breaking it up. So, 10 people said they wanted the sailboats. I said to say sailboats. Obviously, these are not sailboats, but I said it and I moved on and I didn't deal with it. This pattern is actually called Historic Voyagers. I mean, these are ships. These aren't sailboats. I know that, but I didn't, I didn't want to go through the trouble of correcting it. So... I'm actually going to send the whole kit because I felt bad keeping the linen. So it comes with the flosses, the uh, metallic floss, the, the linen. It's a 28 count linen. It's like a 20 inch by 22 inch piece of linen. And the pattern and instructions is in here. I had 10 people say they wanted to stitch the sailboats which we have agreed are not sailboats. So I'm pulling up my random number generator right now. One to 10. That's actually the default. Uh, come on there. I'm going to hit generate. And the number is two, which happens to be Mary Luden, Ludon. Um, I will put a comment on your last comment. Uh, and let you know that this is yours and, uh, send me your address. My email is in the, in the description box below. Um, but I will also ask for your email on that comment, letting you know that you, you got this. I'll pop this in the mail this week, coming week. Okay. So back to my video. I have no idea where I'm interjecting this video within today's segment, but it's going to be interjected somewhere. And you're going to know it's an interjection because I'm sure this view has changed a bit because um, I moved everything around in my room and I'm wearing my glasses. Okay, back to the video. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. You guys know I like to jabber towards the end. So um, I hope you are having a wonderful season. Whether you celebrate it or not, I hope that you are just having a really good month. Um, I know some of you, some of my floss to be friends have had a difficult week this past week. Leslie, I want you to know you and your husband have been on my prayer list um, and will continue to be as he's recovering. Um, but I, I really hope that if you are having a week, a bad week, I, I hope that I could uplift you a little with just me and Bill and Bob because we're having fun. Um, but I, I just hope I bring a little joy to your life. Um, so with that, don't forget, stitch all the things, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!